Hello art students, this is Mrs. Brand here. Today I'm going to show you how to create the image that we will use as a stencil for our bleach designs. You can also use this process when you're creating stencils that will be used for screen printing. So here we go. The first thing I need to do is find an image that I would like to turn into my stencil. In order to do this, you can either email yourself an image that you've taken, or you can go on Google and do a Google search for an image that you'd like to use. I'm going to do a Google search. I think I want to make my t-shirt a t-shirt for a musician that I like named Sade. I'm going to search images, and then I'm going to see if I can find something that I like. It's a good idea to make sure that your image is a high resolution. And if you click on tools, then you get these options here and you can change the size to large. That'll make sure that you get images that would work well for this stencil. And I think I want to go with this one. The other nice thing about this image is that there is nothing in the background. We don't want too many distracting details when we're creating our stencil because that'll, that'll leave us with things we either need to erase or things that um, might become a problem when we're starting to uh, prepare the stencil to be put on our screen or on our t-shirt. So this is a good one because there's nothing um, in the background as well. It's also a nice evenly lit picture. So there's lots of good highlights and then there's also lots of good shadows. So this is very well lit and will probably work well for what I'm going to create. So now I need to save this image and I can do that by doing a two finger click and saying save image as. And I'll save it to my downloads. Now what I wanna do is open up a new tab for a web application called Pixlr. I'm going to go to pixlr.com slash e. The e will allow us to use the editing features that Pixlr office offers rather than using the x, which would be for the express edition. But we want to use the editing tools. Um, now it's going to ask me, don't worry about login pricing, we're just going to experiment with the free options today. So if you look on the left, you'll see that there's an option for opening the image. So I'm going to click on that, then I'll navigate to my downloads, and I'll open up this image that I found. Now there's lots and lots of tools that they give you to um, use for this process for creating, um, for editing pictures in Pixlr but there's a few that we're really focused on using for our stencil. The first thing we need to do is change this to a black and white image. And if you click on the adjustment, you'll see auto black and white pops up. So I'll click on that. The color's been removed and now I have a black and white image. The next adjustment I wanna do is called levels. I like using levels because I can move this cursor in the middle and I can change the contrast of my image. The more contrast the better. We have to turn this into a black and white image that has no grays in order for this to work for our stencil. So I want this to be really contrasty. And then I can say apply. And then the next adjustment that I'm going to do is called threshold. Thresholds will remove all the gray and leave me just with something that is black and white. Now you have some options for threshold. So if you're still getting too much gray, you can adjust that here. But make sure that you still have details to where you can tell what the image is. If you try this and you're thinking it's just not working right, then you can cancel. And then you can go back to your levels adjustment and see if you can change it to work better. 
So maybe I had it too contrasty. I'll try again. I think I like that a little bit better. But you'll notice that it's just straight black and white. And now I'll say apply. Now, I also could add text in so that people would know who this is, but there's not really a lot of room on my image. So what I can do next is I can go to image, canvas size, and I can add more to my image. So let's see if this works. I want my height to change. Right now it's in pixels, not inches. <clears throat> so I'm going to see what happens if I change this to 3000. Now if you look, it added a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. I want to move my image up so that I have all the extra space at the bottom. There's a layers palette on the right and it shows a little lock. If I click on that, if I double click on it, it unlocks which will allow me to move the image of her up. I also think that I want this part to be white. So let's see if I can add white into it. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can look at the text option and maybe I want to write her name. So now I'm adding a text layer. And I can move this down. I don't want it to be white, I want it to be black. So I'll change the color. And then I think I also want it to be much larger. And I don't really like this font. So let's see if I can change it to something that's a little bit more interesting. Now remember, you don't want to use anything that has too much, um, that has too many textures to it because we need to create this as a stencil. Ooh, I think I really like, oh, I picked one that's a premium font, can't use it, so I need to X out of this. So any of the fonts that have this little gold mark are premium, and unless you pay for it, you can't use it. That's kind of interesting, but I think I want something that is more of a script, like a handwritten. So I think I'll make it a little bit larger. And then I wonder if I can make it bold. Looks like if I add an outline of black, it makes it a little bit more bold. And that's kind of neat. Okay. And now I can decide, do I really want it there? Wonder what it would look like if I put it on the side. I kind of like it on the side better, so I might change it. Now, I think I want to crop out that extra part that I added since I moved the name to the side. So I can click on my crop tool to do that. All right, so now I think I'm ready. This is going to be what I use for my stencil for my bleach um, t-shirt. Now I need to say file, save, and I'll rename it. And I'll make sure the quality is all the way up to 100, and then I'll download it. 
In order for this to be um, cut as a stencil, then you need to email it to the teacher, email it to me so that I can um, so that I can um, cut it using our special vinyl cutter. So I'm going to go to my email. And I'll send an email. Now I need to add my attachment by clicking on the paper clip. And then there's my file. And now I can hit send. So now you have created your black and white stencil that we will use for either your bleach t-shirt or for a screen printed t-shirt you'll make in this class. Thanks for watching.